story I'm uh, sharing with you is that just, especially the younger people in here, everyone gets started in the martial arts for specific reasons, and things happen. One of the things I'm most proud of, where's the crochet black belts, please? Crochet black belts, please step forward. In 1970, um, a 15-year-old boy walked into a Riverside High School gym at lunchtime and uh, saw there was some commotion going on. This is 1970. And as this person got up and sat in the stands, he was watching down at a guy in this funny looking uniform, like what you're wearing, with a green belt on. And this young person proceeded to demonstrate, I shouldn't say young, he was 19, proceeded to demonstrate something called Basai Show, which no one had a clue what he was talking about. And this again, this is 1970. That 15 year old in the stands was me. And when I saw this person perform that form, my entire life changed right at that moment. Because I witnessed something that I had never seen before. I didn't understand, but I knew that I had to be part of it. And I'm proud to say 49 years later, I'm standing here in front of you still alive. Sometimes a few less digits, but still alive. A week after that demonstration, I traveled downtown Painesville and I walked into this place that said Kuroshi School of Defense. And um, this young man greeted me at the door, who really intimidated me at the time too, and said, so what do you want to do? Just like that. I said, I, I don't know. I saw this thing going on and I explained it to him. And uh, for the last 49 years, um, this man and a person who's deceased um, all took me in as, uh, as their students, and I'm very proud to say I'm a master student under Melvin Russell, the Soki of Kuroshi School of Defense, and I had the honor after that, please. <laughs> Several weeks later, as I'm trying to maneuver around the floor and do all the stuff you guys are going to do, I kind of hung out, started hanging out with a couple of people, and Craig Clinton and Charles Brown have been with me for those 49 years. And the four of us have, have been there since that day or that year, and I can't tell you how thrilling it is. And I would tell you this, that if you're measuring your martial arts career in months, you're wrong. Measure it in years, measure it in your relationships, and measure it in everything you do with the people around you. I'm proud to say that I now have the honor of sharing all this with all of you. And we've done this for a number of years now, and it's done nothing but get better. And I would ask, uh, where's Jacques at? Jacques, get up here. We say this at the year on banquet, but I, you know, I'd like to acknowledge the guy who's really driven this thing for the last five to ten years. And I'm proud to call him my, one of my best friends and, uh, and a guy that I admire. Thanks, Jacques. So at the end of the day, we're here to compete. We're here to, to do things personally. Whether you win, lose, or draw, you're here to gain knowledge, and that's one of the things we try and do at the UpMac tournaments, is share whatever we can with you. And you're here to, you know, to find out what you're going to do with this whole martial arts career, and that's what it is. So I would encourage you to never stop, and to, regardless of whether you win today or not, come back and do it again, because that's the perseverance that's required for you to move forward. It's all very important in your martial arts training. One of the things we do kind of um, historically at our tournaments is we tax ourselves at the Crochet Group. Very taxing to me now. Um, so we're going to provide a couple demonstrations for you guys. Um, and really this is a way that um, a couple of the older guys in the, in the uh, group get a chance to, to demonstrate the fact that there's never any time to stop. Now the advantage we have this time is we're going to grab a couple of the younger guys in with us and make them do it as well. So we're going to share a couple of, uh, we're going to share a, a synchronized uh, bow form with you and a synchronized open hands form for you. And um, after I get done here, if you'd like to just move around the sides, you're welcome to do that to see a little better. As soon as we're finished, then we'll begin to turn in. I want you to know, Chuck wanted us to go first. You know, we reversed the order, you know, so we're, the best is going first, you know, they're going to have to. Now you put pressure on. Yeah, oh, oh. Down. Down. One, two. 
있습니다. 
Amen. I'll be performing self-defense against multiple attacks. Are you okay taking the floor? Okay. Are you okay with that? Okay. Hit. Hit. You have more? Okay. Thank you, judges. Go 
Look at me, boys. Look at me, Connor. Call. Better his turn. Good. Get it? Okay. all you have for that division. Good job. Thank <laughs> you. 
contact you. Okay. Even though she's got the shield, you can't make it. Point white. Ready? Point white, ready? Go! Stop! Call! Point red, ready? Hey! Stop! Call! Not enough, ready? Hey! Stop! Call! Nothing. Clean it up, ladies, ready? Hey! So, I say fight, this is not a point. It's gotta go in and out, okay? This is not a point. Pick it up, ready, step back. Hey! Stop, call! Red point, ready. Hey! Stop, call! Now, uh, red point, ready. Hey! Ready? Hey! Stop! Call! White point, ready! Hey! Stop! Call! Red point, ready! Hey! Stop! Call! Not enough, ready! Hey! 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 Hey!
representing Karate Institute, Justin McDonough, Lepton, Tushin no Kunda.
two people in this group. Hello, judges. My name is Aiden Benson. I represent Northeast Cup of Karate. With your permission, I would like to perform my kata video. Division, third place, Dane. I got one chance at Weapons Division. Second place, Brad. First place, Jester. Everybody got their one? Tip. Come here. Tyler's next, guys. Tyler's next. Go get the Tyler. Put some good handshakes here. Now you're all black belts now. We're in there with the kids. Everybody stop. That's great. That's uh, very different. Good job. Good job. Judges, my name is Connor Baker. My school is the Hiroshi School of Self Defense. I perform this boom call. Justin McDonough, Kata, go to see a show.
so sure I am on this one. Just two, right? Just two. So two or one? Two. Just one. Oh, just one. Just one. Just one.
Another flying back fish. <laughs> <laughs> One point red. You see it. Oh! Oh! No. Nothing, nothing. What? Save my bail. Call me, gentlemen. Call me, Winner, white. <laughs> Brad, second place to Brad. Who's Brad? Right to Brad. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's okay. How old are you? Second place. Sorry about the sweat. How old are you? First place. No, oh, Mark. Okay. What's your name? Lingyo? There you go. I like that name. There you go. I forgot that. I got it. I got it. And first place, Justin. Hold out there. This was a great day. We had a lot of great competition. I think competitors had a lot of fun. And uh, the Black Belt Division was really good today. Uh, my appreciation goes out to all those Black Belts that were here and participated and worked their butts off. I'm, I'm truly uh, thankful for that. And we hope that uh, they'll continue to come to the UPMAC tournaments and support us throughout the next several months. And certainly be back at the Kuroshi Open next year at the same time. Thanks a lot for being here.